Okay, so this is a quick overview of the environment we have here uh, in my lab. So let's start here on the on the right hand side. This VTC system is actually my uh, CMAD client, as you can see here. That's me, and I'm connected via Ethernet to the local area network here in my lab. And on that network is my RMX. And now the RMX has a uh, prefix for the uh, and for the gatekeeper of 40. So the RMX's uh, prefix is 40. And inside the RMX, there's a couple of things you should know. Uh, we have the gateway profiles, and we have ISDN services. Now, on the gateway profiles, I have a DISN profile, which is uh, denoted by the prefix of 1384, and a commercial profile, which is denoted by 0384. So one or zero, uh, to, depending on which uh, service I want to choose to dial to. Um, both of these profiles have to be assigned, or rather, an ISDN service has to be assigned uh, to a gateway profile. So the DISN service, or D excuse me, the, uh, the DISN gateway profile is associated with the ISDN service called Service 20 XX. Um, this is just a, an RMX in my lab, and that service already existed, otherwise I would have given it a, an easier name. Uh, next to that is, uh, or below that one, is the ISDN PSDN service. Again, arbitrary names, but those are the two services that are in my ISDN services on my RMX. Um, each of these services are connected to individual PRIs to an ADTRAN atlas, representing different carriers because each is programmed separately and those just have internal routing in the atlas to uh, a PRI line that goes directly to one of the HDX's here in my lab and its E164 address is 3050. So on my CMAD client all I have to do is dial this dialing string. The first is 40 to denote the prefix of the RMX. 0384 or 1384 either or to determine which profile I want to use to determine which ultimately which ISDN service I want to get to. I have a delimiter using an asterisk and then the E164 address in this case it's a simple four digit extension here for my four, my HDX over here but of course this could be a real world um, E164 which could have many digits to work through the carrier network. Okay so now let's take a look and see how the RMX is actually uh, configured. So let's tab over to the RMX okay so let me just log in pretty straightforward okay alright so going back to the uh, PowerPoint slideshow you can see that the RMX's prefix was 40 in the gatekeeper so if I go back to the RMX you can see right over here MCU prefix in the upper right hand corner in gatekeeper is 40 alright and then we said that the, the gateway profiles had um, the prefixes of 1384 and 0384 associated to the DISN and commercial profiles respectively. So let's take a look over here on the lower left hand side under rarely used and this might be collapsed in your case so you just have to click on this little um, it's at a chevron so that it opens up and if I look over here at gateway profiles I'll expand the name so you can see them okay so there you see, uh, I wrote DNS, <laughs> um, should be DISN, but that's DNS, and um, commercial. And so 1384 for the DISN, and commercial is 0384, just like in uh, the PowerPoint here. Okay, And so now let's look at the ISDN services they're associated with. Let me show you how they are associated. So first, if I go into let's say the DISN one and I look at the properties and you see down here under the ISDN section it says service 20XX and if I do the same on the commercial one here I made under properties it says ISDN PSTN service this drop down list shows both are available to select so I'm going to leave that alone cancel that and now let's just go over to the ISDN services right, right here and you can see that those two um, profiles, the gateway profiles, were, 
we're pointing at these two services. Notice that the ISDN PSTN service is bolded. That means that it's the uh, default service. So I get delete or properties here, but the one that is not bolded, I have the option to make it or set it as the default service. So let's look at the properties of this. I mean, it's just basically your PRI settings, um, and phone, the, the, the dial-in numbers, and so on. Okay. All right. So that should jive with this here. Again, 40 for the RMX itself and the Dizen being 1384 and 0384 for the commercial lines. Um, and then, of course, the E164 is after uh, an asterisk as a delimiter to reach the HDX that I have on the other side of this other PRI. Okay, so now it's about time that we do some uh, calls here to see how this actually works. So, first let me bring up the Telnet session I have into the Adtran Atlas where port 3 here represents the commercial line and port 4 here represents the Dizen line and I'll bring up my CMA D client now with the software I'm using to record my desktop although you can see me here uh, in my CMA D client when I'm actually in a call for some reason the way Windows handles the uh, video overlay it's not going to record so I will show you the uh, web GUI for the HDX that I'm calling. So let's start here. Let's see um, 40 to represent uh, the RMX, uh, 0384 to represent the uh, commercial prefix, um, asterisk as a delimiter, and 3050 as the endpoint I want to call. I'll start up that call now and I'll move over to, since you're not seeing anything there, I'm going to move over to here you can see it's connecting and let's bring back up the telnet session you can see the lines coming in up to six and now um, you see confirmation that the conference uh, the gateway primary is beginning call is connected um, the six channels are now beginning to do their bonding process okay so now uh, you'll hear in just a few moments as it's synchronizing here I can I'm looking at my HDX it's about to uh, actually enter into the call and so here we are I'm actually in the gateway call now and you can see it's a 384k call and I'm using H320 or ISDN to make that call and you're not going to see anything on that so let's go back over here and I'll hang up this call oh, let me bring this guy up and now I'll hang up the call and you'll watch these channels blank out boom they're done and now the web GUI should show that the call is done the call has ended so let's try that again let's go back to the PowerPoint here to, to refresh our memories 1384 is the other uh, the Dizen line so let's do that now so now I'm gonna go uh, 40 uh, 1384 star 3050 and initiate that call let's go back to the telnet session Oops, and oops, get that web page up. Where is it? Here's the telnet. And now you can watch that all occurring here. The channels have popped up now on circuit four, or port four. And the call is connecting. It says connected here. And remember, port four represents the Dizen line. And here we go H320, it's connected, 384K. Um, it's a bonded call and any second you'll hear the there's my HDX uh, being connected fully through the gateway so now let me uh, bring up my CMAD again and again you're not going to see anything in this little window here the way Windows handles the overlay so as I hang up you'll watch the circuits clear out very quickly boom they're gone and then the web page will update and it's done and that's it I've just demonstrated how you can dial um, two uh, services through the RMX gateway just by using prefixes to determine which service or line you want to talk to, Dizen or commercial. Now of course you could have multiple uh, circuits per service uh, grouped together. Uh, maybe I have like four Dizen lines and six commercial lines, whatever it is, doesn't matter. They'll all be grouped together by a particular service, and then that service is called out by the gateway profile, as I showed you before, through the RMX uh, interface. So 
That's it in a nutshell, how to uh, dial via the gateway profiles to various services, and um, hope that was beneficial.